A $4 trillion industry bracing for news of a major shake-up. After a decade of talking it over, regulators could be just weeks from announcing a new era in global shipping, capping harmful sulfur emissions and nearly doubling the cost of fuel in the process. Fifteen of the world's largest vessels emit more sulfur oxide than all of the world's cars. The shipping industry will have to change the type of fuel that it burns. This is going to cost them a lot more and fuel cost for trade vessels is one of their biggest cost factor and for the oil industry there's going to be a higher cost burden on them because they're going to have to invest in equipment to further refine these fuels that are going to be displaced by uh, the drop in demand from the shipping industry. As well as being bad for the environment, health experts say sulfur emissions from shipping have caused thousands of deaths from heart and lung disease. The new rules could either come into effect in 2020 or 2025, and political pressure is building. The European Union has already decided that they're going to go ahead with a 0.5% sulfur cap by 2020, regardless of what the IMO rules. And this is going to be effective 200 miles off of European Union coastlines. Also China, for example, has been gradually upping the standards in terms of fuel burned by these vessels. Shippers wanting to play by the new rules will need to either switch to diesel or liquefied natural gas or install new technology to clean emissions. But neither of those options come cheap, adding strain to an industry that's already seen high-profile defaults and even stranded ships with crews left unpaid and unsupplied.